As an educator, you want to connect with your students, empower them, and have them engaged in their learning. But have you ever considered how student voice and choice is incorporated into learning opportunities? Get students connected, empowered, and engaged using this student-centered learning approach. This for youth by youth model uses user-centered design and encourages youth to come together to plan and implement activities and learning opportunities that suit their unique needs and interests. Why? It demonstrates to youth that they are valued contributors of their learning. It guides youth to identify issues and initiatives that are meaningful to them. It develops leadership and communication skills. It embeds social-emotional learning. It magnifies student voices. And it empowers youth to shape their own learning experience. Step 1. Identify the problem by asking yourself, other teachers, and students the following questions. 1. Do the school facilities provide equal and safe access to activities for the whole student body? 2. Are there social or cultural challenges that need to be addressed within the school? 3. Are there groups of students who may not be reflected in the school's culture, practices, and programs? 4. Is the environment supportive and inclusive of all students? 5. Is there enough diversity in the instructional or extracurricular programs being offered to students? 6. Is student engagement low in general? Step 2. Survey or interview the students to learn more about them and more about the problem. Make sure that survey and interview data is anonymous and cannot be linked to individual students. Step 3. Convene an action team. Recruit students for the action team. Also, decide if other teachers or members of the school community will be involved and reach out to them. Step 4. Share the survey or interview results with the action team so they can review and analyze the information, discuss trends, and talk about the identified problem. Step 5. Plan and implement a design workshop where students begin by brainstorming a variety of solutions individually. Put students in small groups and have them share their solutions, provide feedback to each other, and select and refine one solution as a group. Bring the entire group together to find common themes and decide on a final solution. Step 6. Challenge the students to implement the solution they have designed. Students should collaborate to answer questions about how, when, where, and what they will need to implement the solution. Step 7. Students bring the solution to life. This is what the action team has been working towards. Implement the solution and ensure that all the roles and responsibilities are completed by members of the action team. Here are three examples of solutions your action team might come up with. We felt that the girls who don't play on school sports teams didn't have other opportunities to be active after school. So we created an after-school intramural program where we try a variety of activities like self-defense and weightlifting. We thought that our change rooms were not a safe space for all the students in our school. We worked with the school administration to install private changing stalls and we decorated the walls with inspirational quotes and photos. We also created a safe space agreement where all students have the chance to share ideas and ultimately agree on a set of rules for using the change rooms so that they were a safe space for everyone. We noticed that vaping rates are going up at our school and we decided to launch a school-wide information campaign and support students' knowledge and attitudes towards vaping in our school. Step eight, you wanna make sure the intervention is having the positive impact the action team hoped for. So work with the action team to plan and implement participant surveys or interviews to collect and analyze feedback. Step nine, evaluate and refine. Share the results of the post-intervention survey or interviews with the action team and generate a discussion about the results. The team can also present the results of the evaluation they completed with the participants. So, empower your students, hear what they have to say, and support them as they shape their own learning experiences. Download the Student-Centered Toolkit now 